Okay, I'd like to talk now, today, about this. The Sun World Cup freebie. 22 million uh, households it was delivered to, or so they say. This is our England. Well, my immediate responses to it, well, not my immediate responses, uh, as I still got the copy here, as you can see, but people I know, most of them binned it. Some of them used it as fire liars. Somebody claimed to put it at the bottom of their budgie cage. And uh, others, although I doubt it, said that they, <laughs> that they put it in quarters, hung it up in the bog, and use it to clean their arises. Anyway, the immediate responses also have been total outrage in Liverpool, as we well know, the sun is still boycotted there after the, their Hillsborough coverage. And even more further outrage when Milliband proudly displays his copy in a photo opportunity, probably on the advice of his imported spin doctors. See my previous spin doctors video casts, for example. A real vote loser in Liverpool, and this from a man who boasted that he doesn't read newspapers. The front page, light-heartedly, depicts our England as exemplified by a collage of celebrities interspersed with the parasitic royals. Centrepiece, of course, is that old hag, the Queen. Considering how many celebs are cooling their heels in jail, historic sex with uh, for doing historic sex crimes, I wonder how many of those grace in the front page of the sun will be in the slammer this time next year. Next couple of pages inform us that surprise, surprise, that her Madge is number one treasure. A whole load of polls revealing various concocted platitudes about what it means to be English. Further on. Through the meaningless garbage, the true gem, an article, a land of creativity and grit. No one else on the planet comes close to our genius. A, fla a flag-waving article of unbridled balderdash, crappy on parody, could just as easily and most probably more accurately have been written an article about how we lead the world in child abuse, snobbery, hypocrisy, capped off in. Do I have to continue? Uh, the, the writer of this crap was Tony Parsons, ex-punk journalist who took the Murdoch shilling. Uh, to me, it's just a weasel face runt, a punk in the original jail slang of the American 20th century. Look it up. And it ain't a young, cheap hooligan either. On and on the special goes ad nauseum, drum beating, predictable, insulting the already frazzled intelligence of its regular readership and everybody else who picked it up a copy. What more is there to say beyond the obvious? The Sun isn't written by morons, however, although they probably think their readership fits that description. It's written by mostly privately educated ex-public schoolboys and schoolgirls. Its function is to provide no news whatsoever, only by it only supports the system, in particularly the monarchy, rich celebrities, the conservatives, with the usual doses of attacking the very people who read it, calling them scroungers, greedy trade unionists, immigrants, the usual right-wing claptrap, in a way that uh, benefits uh, a right-wing scab nation, I suppose. Uh, the irony of it all, particularly since England, or Team England, after their always-to-be-expected dismal performance the other day, will be taking an early plane home. Don't think so from reading the freebie, though. Also, after the fre frenzied patriotic drum-beating, most of the full-page ads seem to be from overseas or foreign companies. Coke, Aldi, Domino's Pizza, Mars. But maybe there's nothing unusual about this. What with the sun along with its posh stablemate, The Times, is owned by one Rupert Murdoch, a true international global robber baron businessman. This country is just an outpost in his global empire, and our politicians and so-called opinion makers grovel before him en masse. What's the point in this freebie, anyway? 
I just think it's part of the run-up to the 2015 election. Vote Tory being its main flag-waving patriotic subliminal message, or not-so-subliminal message. Proud to be English, vote Tory. Best country in the world, vote Conservative. Our fantastic godlike figure, the Queen, support Nil and grovel before the system. That's the message of this. But they may have committed a blunder or so, or two. Um, the first one being, obviously, that England is going to uh, have an ignominious departure from the World Cup. They're there, they're back in a total loser. And also, as well, in case you haven't forgot, the verdicts are about to be delivered in the criminal trial involving the Sun's editors and top staff. Could be that they may be joining some of their celebrity chums behind bars. All this doesn't matter to the jaded British public. You will obligingly vote the Tories back in in the next general election and continue to buy the sun in their millions on a daily basis. And let's have a look at the sun today. We've got the unrolling situation in Iraq and Syria, Iraq particularly. And what did they have on the front cover? What dominated the front cover? The entire front cover, mind you, on Monday, June the 16th, was devoted to um, uh, the uh, Royal Toddler George kicking a football around. Kind of makes you proud, really, doesn't it? So, if you want to do me a favour, retreat my uh, vidcast, as a friend of mine told me today, to go on here and tell people to retweet the vidcasts. Okay, so I'm doing that. I need to get more uh, people out there watching me. I need some encouragement to slowly get my slowly rising ratings further up. Unless, of course, you happen to be a sun reader who has accidentally stumbled across this anarchist vidcast. Uh, in which case, I have only one message for you. It's not fuck off or you are an idiot, but wise up mug. You've been taken for a ride, a long ride, a ride to your own oblivion, as your fathers and your mothers have before them, and presumably your children, if this disgusting system continues to go on. Um, oh, by the way, I've just read that there's uh, been a £5 coin uh, printed uh, for Prince George, our future king, so uh, there's a real bargain for you. And to show you it's for mugs, they charge an 80 quid for it. So wise up, mugs, and get out on the streets, make a revolution, and burn those pathetic and embarrassing England flags, rather than leave them up long after our team's inevitable early departure before the quarterfinals. It looks sad and pathetic to see them still having, uh, still have sort of waving in the breeze from uh, taxi cabs and white vans and from people's balconies. What you read in the sun has got nothing to do with being English or even a human being, right? It's just a load of concocted crap, of it, as I've said. Let's have a proper debate about our English identity, about identity in general and class and so on. Class in particular, because we're faced with that disgusting spectacle that comes about every year. Royal Ascot, where you will see the enemy in their top hats. Yes, they wear top hats and the women in all their finery and so forth. This is the enemy. These are the people we're supposed to despise and hate. Not immigrants, not the poor, not ourselves, but them. And we should learn our own history, which has got nothing to do with kings or anything, a history of revolt and counterculture, not the wishy-washy sort of left-wing Billy Bragg guitar twanging crap that uh, is supposed to be the alternative to the Tory crap. No, a real, a real examination of our history and our culture as it's evolving, including our language, our slang, everything. But we are the ones that have got to conduct it. And the only way that we can conduct it is to speak amongst ourselves and to get amongst ourselves in a situation of extreme ferment. And forget about all this flag waving and so on. And if we have a revolution, then maybe we will have a team to be proud of. And maybe, like, we really will have something to be proud of. Not the pathetic bunch of overpaid, 
millionaire prima donnas that are supposed to represent the best in Britain. So that's all I've got to say for today. And I wish you all a uh, good week. But I can't say that I wish that for the England team or the Toffs at Royal Ascot or the monarchy. Goodbye.